Hello, Didier Stevens here. I'm on holiday and uh, that explains why I'm not shaven. Also today, there's been a lot of rain. It's only now that the sun started to shine, but otherwise you would have heard the rain here uh, in this room. And um, this gave me the opportunity to do something that I wanted to do for quite some time. And that is show you the very first analysis of Maldox, so the unscripted, unedited version of uh, a malicious document analysis. So I, I make a lot of videos on Maldox analysis. And before I start recording, I have done the analysis of the document before. So I know how to do the analysis. I know what the outcome is. And I've also rehearsed the commands uh, so that I can make a smooth recording in, in one go. Sometimes when I make fundamental mistakes, I will just uh, start again the, the recording. I try as much as possible uh, to leave editing um, be and don't do anything uh, editing afterwards. So sometimes I do some very small editing, but that's uh, rare. Now, what I did here was also make a recording of the very first time that I looked at the Maldoc. So I don't know anything about the Maldoc. The only thing that I know is an XLSX uh, file. That's the only thing. And so I start to do the analysis. You, you will see that it's highly narrow. It goes in different directions. Some, some of those directions don't end up in uh, anything useful. Also, there's no sound, no narration. But I did add some captions that you know what I'm uh, more or less doing. And also, uh, you will see me, see me make mistakes. Like, for example, I don't remember exactly some of the holy dump uh, options that I don't use often. So uh, I make mistakes in them. I make typos. I have to look in the documentation to, to be able to do the right uh, command. So that's uh, how it goes in real life, how the malware analysis uh, usually takes place. It's, it goes in different directions. It, it's trial and errors. We, we make mistakes, but we finally try to end up with, uh, with the solution. So I hope you enjoy this. So first, the normal video, like I always make, and then afterwards, the, the very first look unrehearsed of the Maldoc. So I downloaded a sample from Malware Bazaar. It had only one tag XLSX. So I'm using my tool OliDump to look at the sample. So it is indeed an OOXML uh, file. And this one is the OLIF file that is inside the OOXML file. It's a spreadsheet, Excel. And this here, this is not macros, so there is no VBA macros. And uh, you don't see uh, any uh, VBA project.bin. But we have here an embeddings. So this stream here is an OLE10 native stream, rather large, um, almost one megabyte. Now, I'm going to use the option storages to also view the storages. So this is comparable to folders. And these are streams, and here you have a storage and the two streams. I'm looking at the storages so that I can see the root and tree storage, the top uh, storage, because I can add extra information for uh, storages like the class ID. Every storage has a class ID. This is the class ID of the root entry for this maldoc. And I can also add a description. So this is a Microsoft Equation 3.0. So this is most likely an exploit for the Equation Editor. So it will contain 32-bit shellcode. So let's take a look. Selecting stream one. And let's take a look at the start and at the beginning, beginning and end. Okay, here we have yeah, binary data and here what looks like base 64. Here I see 01, 08. So this is very likely a line record and a font record. And here is the overflow of the font record. Uh, buffer and then here we have shellcode. Let's take a look like this. Okay, and yeah, as to be expected, it is obfuscated or encoded shellcode because you don't see any strings. 
and then here a sequence of uh, zero d bytes okay and here you have the base 64 that starts okay now if it contains shellcode like this it's rather simple to analyze you dump the stream to a file shellcode.vir and you run the shellcode emulator on it S give it as input the file you tell it that it has to find the entry point because an exploit like this for the equation editor starts with data structure so the entry point is not as location zero it's somewhere later on so the shellcode emulator has to find it and i also want a report and now it is starting to do that this will take some time because there's almost one million offsets uh, to check okay and now this is speeding up that's because now it is trying to analyze the base 64 as shellcode and okay since this is not valid shellcode it fails very rapidly so we can move on to the next one Okay, almost done. Okay, and here we have 10 entry points. I will start with the first one. And we already have success. Here you can see the execution, the emulation of the shellcode. So it will write a file and executable to a temporary file, which is downloaded with HTTP from this IP address with this part written to disk and then here with winexec it is executed and after that you have an exit process so uh, excel is killed here now that's the analysis let's take one more look at base 64 So let's pipe this into my base64 dump tool. And here we have the code. <clears throat> Let me select this. And it has a very high entropy, 7.98. So either this is encrypted data or even random data. Now I did some research into it and I'm pretty sure that this is just a decoy, just a random data that was added. Because if I look at the shellcode and I do away with the base64 uh, code then it still emulates so here you have the content of the stream and uh, the encoded shellcode here you have the repetition of the D bytes and then here you have the start of the base64 so the length of the shellcode is around 6e0 so let me cut that out. 6e0, a length of 6e0. And I'm going to write this to another file, a much smaller file now. And then run the shellcode emulator on it. Find the entry point. It immediately finds the entry points. And here we have exactly the same result. So that base64 code is not necessary for the shellcode to execute. And I doubt also that it is necessary for the downloaded executable because this is starting as a separate process and then afterwards the Excel is just killed. <laughs>